A new form of oversight into IMPD policies and practices is a done deal. Approved by the City County Council and signed by Mayor Hunks at Proposal 237 adds four civilians to the Police Department's General Orders Board. But who those civilians are was a big point of contention during debate over the proposal. WRTV's Cornelia Soccer has been pushing for answers about the group that will have an impact on future law enforcement policies. A pastor Richard Reynolds with Faith in Indiana is hopeful the four community members picked to be on the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department's General Orders Board will come from diverse backgrounds. We want uh, this, this governance board to be a reflection of the city of Indianapolis. Uh, it should reflect the diversity that is in our community. Those four community members, along with three IMPD officers, will oversee police policies and practices, helping to review and make changes when necessary. Two of the civilians will be selected by the City County Council. The expansion of the board goes into effect on January 1st, so I asked two of the counselors behind the proposal how the process will work. Counselor Krista Carlino didn't have time to talk to me for this particular story, but Counselor Keith Potts got back to me and said, the process of picking civilian members for the board is going to take weeks, if not months. But once that process is in place, he will share that with me. While we wait, Pastor Reynolds wants the community to know, especially those who weren't for the proposal, that it should be seen as a way to build trust between citizens and the police force. It really is about partnership. It really is about working with the police is not anti-police in any way. We really want to support our police department and help the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department be one of the best in the country. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. We're also waiting to hear back from the mayor's office about the two civilian members Mayor Hogsett will choose to sit on the General Orders Board and what that process will be like. Last week, however, the mayor did announce that the final proposal he signed ensures the police chief has a say in any policy changes.